Hello, Dr. Hayes. Uh, the patient we are seeing today is named Jasmine Green. She is a 64-year-old female who is diagnosed with congestive heart failure. A diagnostic test I was thinking of doing for her would be an EKG. I was thinking that this would tell us how her heart is doing uh, currently, and it will check the rhythm and electrical activity since she has just been out of the hospital. So we want to make sure that her congestive heart failure is either uh, staying the same, being made better or worse. Um, some of the signs and symptoms she may present with, uh, if she had left-sided heart failure, would be a uh, cough from some pulmonary congestion, uh, fatigue, uh, shortness of breath on exertion. She has both fatigue and shortness of breath on exertion. According to her chart, she would have um, an increased respiratory rate and possibly some cyanosis. Right-sided would show some distended jugular veins, weight gain, and dependent edema. And so uh, two questions I would ask during the subjective exam uh, would be what types of activities she was doing that may have caused her to be short of breath, since she says that she's short of breath on exertion. And I, I've also seen that she had been tired lately, so I was wondering if anything in her routine has changed to cause her to become more tired or if the work of breathing has uh, increased her fatigue. Um, some objective exam tests and measures I want to do would be, of course, vital. So I was going to do heart rate, uh, respiratory rate, and blood pressure to make sure she's okay to continue physical therapy. I'm going to uh, do some heart sound auscultation uh, to assess for abnormal heart sounds we may hear before she's exercising, before, during, and after. I would also do a peripheral edema assessment since one of the signs and symptoms could be dependent edema, on, and she has type 2 diabetes. I was wanting to make sure she might not have a DVT or just assess how her edema and her lower extremities might be doing. I'd also want to perform a six-minute walk test to, since she has dyspnea on exertion, and it's a submaximal test that would look at her exercise capacity overall. I also want to do a chronic health failure questionnaire uh, to assess her change over time and it tests her dyspnea, fatigue, and emotional status while she's living with heart failure, which I think is important since she's been in and out of the hospital and has multiple diagnoses. I wanna just see like where she's at and see her improve from the start of physical therapy to the end. Um, and then two ideas for interventions I thought could be appropriate for her would be doing some aerobic exercise. So I was thinking uh, every three to five days she could using 40 to 80% of her exercise capacity. She'd work out for 20 to 60 minutes using a recumbent bike so that she's not upright on her feet too often, but she's still getting exercise. It'll help improve her exercise to tolerance and quality of life. It may help her with her fatigue. And then another intervention could have been pursed lip breathing. Since she's having um, dyspnea on exertion and a lot of fatigue, I was thinking that she might not be breathing as well as appropriate. So I was thinking of teaching her pursed lip breathing to possibly lower her heart rate, which may reduce her fatigue overall. So that is what I had planned for Jasmine Green. Thank you.